Hello, this is Jimmy PRC. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use S1200 Modbus RTU Slave by Tiaportal V15. Let's get started. First, you can put the 1200 S1200 PRC and put communication card and you can set the configuration serial configuration so I use this operating data with A stop with 1 and also set uh, IP eighteen Use first and clock memory and just simple you can see the communication function so I'm gonna use version 2.2 so can check so. this two no no so it's not first you can Can. So how to you how to know the CB one two four one? There is no information about the hardware ID, but you can see here. It's too easy to find it, and so how to make this? And parity no means parity no means zero. So no 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 db. So how can you put the db? So I'm gonna use slave. So you can put the slave also and let's just see slave put and uh, so and today I'm gonna use slave ID one and, and I need to make database for slave buffer. First, first I need to check the data type. And 
to take the type I'm gonna use on side integer because this is similar to length I'm gonna use 20 0 to 19 for total length is 20 we'll put the uh, so the, this is very important firstly you need to uncheck optimize block access this is important to no, you can put the buffer no. Yeah. No. This is a way. If you need, you can put today. I I don't want to put it. Okay. Then download. Let's see how to communicate between Modbus Simulator and okay, and this is the connection setting. My USB serial converter is port com five. Go wait database. Let's check. So you can see the communication. So I try to change the data. This you can see the change the data, and also I can change it from PLC, as you can see, that can lead the data this is maybe this is a little bit faster so change it so I can put the so you can see and yes you can see the 20 lengths of Modbus slave data. Also, you can see you can see the data here. And also, this so very simple. There is no error. So you can see the data. Yeah. I'll show you how to connect actual PLC and PC connection.
now you can see the communicate between PC Modbus Master Simulator and Gmas PLC. This now is working. Next time, I will update how to use Modbus Master in Gmas S. 1200 PLC. Thank you.